What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. Hey, what's happening, homie? This TIP, man. Yo, what's up? This Big Boy. Y'all know what time it is. Live from the West Coast. You already know you checking out Hard Knock TV. You heard? Yeah, what up, though? This is Common, and right now you checking out Hard Knock TV. You watching Hard Knock TV, you understand? Learn that you yach. Yeah, yeah, big up. This is BLU. I'm checking out Hard Knock TV. Chia. <laughs> Uh, speak about Common. Common, now, Common, the MC. The MC. Common now, is dope. I used to love her. It was one of the first records that made you want to be MC. Yeah. Is that true? That's true. I used to love her is actually, uh, that's the song that made me like want to write. I was like freestyling, battling and shit all before that, just like talking shit about people. And then uh, the homie played I used to love her and, you know, he came back, he was like, yo, did you hear that shit? I was like, yeah, that shit was cool, it was a girl song, whatever. He was like, nah, dog, did you hear what that shit is about? And I was like, nah, he played it again. And I vaguely remembered, like, the last line of the song echoed in my mind. And when I heard it from the top, I kept that idea of the girl being hip hop. And then when I heard it at the end and it just resealed, you know what I mean? Reconnected and made all that sense. I, I shit it. I was like, dude, that's the illest shit I've ever heard. Literally. That shit cracked my head open. So I, I went out and bought, like, One Day It All Makes Sense, like, a week after that. And, uh, and uh, from then on, I, you know, my brain hasn't been the same. Cannabis, uh, Common, Chino XL, Red Man. That shit was just massive. Black Thought. Yeah. Then Feral Monch, Andre. I slept on Andre. Whew. I heard Equimini, the song, for the first time. I was like, what the fuck? I was sleeping. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, that shit was. That was the days, though. Andre's probably my favorite rap rapper. Equimini is probably my favorite album. Uh, oh no, actually, ATL is probably my favorite. Equimini is probably. ATL, uh, I fuck with. I kind of fuck with Equimini a little more lyrically. I would have to say, AT Aliens, but I don't know. It's something about like big boys like West Savannah, art of storytelling two, the Jack Daniels joint. Like you know what I mean? It was just like. The Liberation Joint, Damn Damn James, eesh, screw it on a Barbie. Even a Rosa Parks, oh no, no, no favorite group ain't coming with it, but I'm with you because you're probably going through with it. Yeah, was that Rosa Parks? Yep. That, even a Rosa Parks, it was just like, like, I don't think MCs would like drop their single with some as deeply thought-provoking lyrics as like Rosa Parks. You know what I'm saying? They singles just wasn't that heavy. Unless you go way back to like, time is up. You know what I'm saying? You know, some like, oh, <laughs> but like, now MCs was just dropping like feel good shit, but they came in dropping that feel good shit and, and Andre style would just disguise so much, so many gems, he'd just be dropping. That's what I'd be trying to do. I'd, I got gems tucked in my shit, dog. They should start putting my, some of my bars on t-shirts, dog. Start enlightening people's days. No, just... <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, one of the rappers you mentioned in, in that was uh, Black Thought. Now, Black Thought, yeah. When, when I was uh, listening to the new Roots album, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was definitely pleasantly surprised. I was like, wait, that sounds a lot like Blue. Yeah. How, how, did, uh, how did that collab go? We did, we did three, we did three or four tracks. Um, they, their management contacted me and I was like, I'm down, but I ain't gonna believe it until I, I meet Questlove, you know what I'm saying? So I went and uh, I went, went out to New York. We had the session, we sitting there, me and Black Thought writing and shit. I'm sitting here next to like the dude that I like listened to throughout high school, like had things fall apart on repeat for weeks before I got another, any other music in my mind. I was just playing that alone. I'm sitting here barring up with old boy. And it was like deep because like the album was just like, they had this more spiritual undertone of the album. So it was like, it was a trip that they reached out to me at that point in their career. Just like, 
it was a weird connection there that didn't set in for me until afterwards more deeply. But I was like, I was there like, I don't believe this shit until I meet Questlove. Then I met Questlove and I was like, oh, I'm on out. <laughs> I'm on the Roots album and shit. So, yeah. Now, now what's that process like to sit down with Black Thought? Like what? <laughs> Yeah, Doug, I wanted, I wanted to like write a bar and be like, let me hear your verse. <laughs> let me hear where you at. <laughs> Shit. But no, nah, it was just, we just wrote. I was like, I got my verse. It was like, lay that, let me hear it. Did like three joints. It was like, word, it's cool. Thought, lay this shit right after me. I was like, damn. Or before, Dice Raw was in the lab. It was like crazy, crazy dope studio just to see like, all the, the instruments they work with and all that shit, that shit is dope. Now, does Quest play a beat and he tells you a concept or how, how, how does the song come about? Uh, no, Quest wasn't, Quest wasn't there, but they, they played me like most of the record. So I got, I got this feel for the record and um, they played a couple joints. They actually, all the joints that they play for me as options, I actually got on. So it was like, you get on this, this or this. And I just rapped on all of them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, for real. Let's do a joint album. That's what we was trying to do and shit. <laughs> yeah. John Legend took my spot. <laughs> oh, the wake up. Uh, yeah, the little wake up album, album and shit. For dope. sure. Um, actually, before, uh, before I go too far, when we're talking about Common, have you ever got a chance to meet Common? I met Common, yeah. I think I met Common at a Dilla event. Yeah. Met him briefly, just shook his hand, said, what's up? The homie was like, I dare you to sock him. You'll be famous, I can't put it on YouTube. <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah. Then I was like, fuck no. Nah. <laughs> like, I'm kinda got swole a little bit. Like, That's what I'm yeah. saying. I was like, oh shit. I was like, peace, Doug, peace. <laughs> the past tense and never really passes phases that trap us in cages like classes fog in my glasses lost in a mass mess taskless dilemma to match somebody's status and i'm average as fuck no car cats gassing me up passing bucks like a casual blunt granted hustling habits on the stump of a mansion while bums pass asking for a buck for some bag bricks bad shit going down on the daily while bad chicks passing the messages damn they say he's the bastard for chasing them. Maybe it's the patterns that make me that made me. There were rumors that uh, Death Row wanted to sign you. Uh, any uh, validity to those? Yeah, for sure. I went and met up with Suge. Suge had me rap like 100 bars. Yo, you remember me, dog? You remember me had me rap like 100 bars in front of like all your homies? I told you I wanted a car and a house. I'm still working on that. <laughs> I'm about to get it though. I'm coming after them labels. I need that car in that house, dog. Sign that off. But nah, yeah, I met up with Suge. Suge's, Suge's dope. Um, heard like a bunch of crooked eye shit. Like long ass time ago. Fucking long ass time ago, dude. Danny, Danny Boy was there. Ray J. Uh, that's when they had the Death Row Waters and shit. That shit was a trip. So, so you rap for Suge? Yeah. What happens? A bunch of homies. He was just like, I'm going to hit you up, dog. We're going to do this. I was like, shit. Fuck it. I rap. First, he was like, yo, rap, rap a verse. I kicked a verse. He's like, kick another one. I kicked another one. He's looking around. He's like, one more. So I just kicked him 100 bars and shit. My third one was like, <laughs> I just kept going, like a literal 100 bar verse. I said, fuck it. He was like, oh, shit. We're gonna get up, we're gonna work. And that's at the time he was trying to design like the new West, the lyrical West Coast and shit, like crooked and corrupt. So I was like, word, dude, I'm down. And, uh, oh no, that's when the homie hit me up. The homie uh, whose album I first appeared on, he was like, dog, he's like, come fuck with me. We're gonna chill in Long Beach, we're gonna make an album, we're gonna get signed to Rockefeller. I said, fuck it, I'm down with that. <laughs> So we went and did the album and shit. And uh, actually, that's when I met Exile. So shit just kept. I'll be on it, man. On the music, keeping it moving. Um, Double XL, freshman cover. Yeah. Last year. Last you were on it. 
Who was not last year? You were on the year before that. It's been two years. Some, right? something like that. Oh, like two or crazy. three years. I feel old now. <laughs> shit. I didn't see so many of those covers since I've been on it. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, that shit was a, that shit was a very dope experience. It's uh, dope to see. Like oftentimes, I reflect on the other MCs that were actually on the cover and uh, where their career is like, where their career is now. You know what I'm saying? Where their career ended up or where it is now how it's progressing and whatnot. And it's just dope to reflect on, on our whole class, per se, for sure. So, now, do you I mean, feel a respect. bond with that class at all? Or? Yeah, some definitely, definitely some heads I respect. Uh, Currency is really dope. Um, Ash Roth is a homie, he's, he's dope. Um, what's it called? Uh, Cuddy was crazy, bumped into Cuddy a few times. Salute to him, doing his thing. Uh, Wale is cool. Yeah, everybody's cool shit. B.O.B. is the homie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Charles surprised me on that Lupe remix, though. Niggas! I was like, word, that shit was dope. I think but, he just uh, got out of jail, actually. Who did? Charles Hamilton? Uh -huh. Was in jail? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. With the pink collar and shit? Yeah, Charles. Crazy. Jumping off. Yeah. That's what's up. Who you checking for this year? I don't know, Future 3? Shit. Uh... It'll probably be all producers. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Shit. <laughs> I know so many producers right now. I don't know though. Yeah. Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar is a dope, dope head. Cash is keen. Uh, I don't know, some heads out there. Yeah. Speaking of Kendrick, how do you see the hip hop scene in LA right now? Uh the hip hop scene in LA is dope. It's like uh it's a bunch of heads. Kendrick, Dom, Cassius, Pac, you and I, Blue. It's heavy, some heavy shit, man. It's just, uh, it's a bunch of shit popping off, man. It's just like keeping up with it. You know what I mean? I think we got it right now. Do you, uh, do you think detox uh, falling this year is gonna, gonna help the movement or hurt the movement? Or do you think- Nah, it's definitely gonna help. Right like it's, it's a good look for Kendrick, like to be fucking with Dre. Like, you know, um, Dre always fucks with dope, dope lyricists. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good look. You know what I mean? Any chance you want to freestyle for us on the rooftop? <laughs> Yo, if I could freestyle on the rooftop, I have the roof on a hoop drop and get a new new tube sock. Cause this one got too much soul, it got a hole. I bit that. Alright. That's it. Once you bite, you gotta stop. <laughs>